Welcome back, this is the Amajack. Today we got Gunslinger, Hellmark Station, Suicidal. And uh, the other thing I did today, so one of the things I did was I read the uh, Annapolis of uh, Seamanship. And uh, the other thing I did was I started watching Death Note again. I've been typing a lot of Death Note. Why did I even bother with the staircase? Um, I've been typing a lot of Death Note quotes on Type Racer. And uh, I was like, you know what? I haven't watched Death Note for a while. It's a good anime. I like it. I think that Death Note is, in general, just like a, a fairly good show. Season 1, anyway. Season 2, you're getting a little bit into, you know, like, this is a good anime territory. But Season 1, the, the first the first season, I think, is, uh, is just, generally speaking, a, a pretty good show. I think that uh, even a lot of people who don't necessarily uh, watch anime uh, might be able to enjoy it just because it is, uh, it is a... a fairly unique story that's not like too far you know in the depths of like you know super saiyans and like you know like monster girls and and, and the, the weird anime stuff you know it's definitely an anime but it's uh it's uh it keeps it a little more grounded I think so it's it's a very enjoyable show and I like it and uh, every now and then I'll, I'll give it a rewatch I just uh, I'm one of those people who likes to rewatch shows over and over and over again like I've watched Death Note maybe six times this will be my seventh I think um, I've watched One Piece yes One Piece the entire thing uh, well to like episode 700 anyway twice this is why I the entire thing's episode 700. Twice. Um, I'm just I'm one of those people, you know, Bleach, all of it. All like, what, 350 episodes, whatever that it has. Um, I've watched that through four times, I believe. Maybe five. Uh, Hunter x Hunter, I've watched fully through, like, four times. Like, these are, these are long shows. Gintama, I've watched... Uh, Outside of the last, like, three seasons, um, I've watched through, like, four or five times, which is 200 and some odd episodes in itself. Um, and then, you know, Death Note I've watched. This is my seventh time watching Death Note. Um, I've watched Sword Art Online. Uh, outside of, again, like, the last couple of seasons, I've watched it through, like, three times. Um... Attack on Titan, I've watched through outside of the last season um, three times as well, I believe. Um, I just I, I like rewatching it and enjoying it again. You know, like it's 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 a good show. I I'm not gonna not enjoy it just because I've seen it before. Um, so I'm watching uh, watching Death Note back again, and I learned something actually. I learned because my my computer right now, if we go to. Uh, Hold up, we'll, we'll, we'll go check it out. We'll go check it out, okay? Okay. This is my IP address, right there, down in uh, Kansas. Uh, spoiler, I live more up over here-ish. Um, so my, I have a VPN that puts me in America. And for the sake of watching Netflix, you might think, hey, that's like a good thing. It's not. So many people are like, oh, I got to get on American Netflix. I got to get on an American Netflix. I don't think you do. American Netflix sucks. Canadian Netflix is where it's at. Canadian Netflix has a lot more stuff that's good. Um, for one... The anime selection on Canadian Netflix is, like, huge. And the anime selection on American Netflix is, like, not even there. Like, even some of the Netflix originals aren't available on American Netflix. It's weird. Um, and then a lot of other, like, uh, TV shows and stuff like that are just not there on American Netflix. If you want, like... It used to be really if you wanted like movies then then go check out uh, American Netflix But a lot of the movies have been like taken away from American Netflix now and uh, put onto their own thing with Disney Plus and 
um, all of all of these uh, competitors, right? Uh, so even even that is kind of like eh. So uh, when I'm on Netflix on my computer, which isn't off, I don't I don't generally speaking watch Netflix. I, I generally uh, download them and then watch them on Plex. Uh, better quality um, and just just less problems really, less laggy, easier on my computer even like yeah it's it's just all around a, a better experience to uh, to download them and then. Um, Uh, watch them on Plex, so that's what I do. But sometimes I'm feeling lazy, and I'll just uh, you hop over to Netflix. It's not often that I do that. Uh, like I watched Bonding the other day, which was uh, on Netflix, and um, before that, the last time I'd watched anything on Netflix would have been uh, months ago. You know, like it's not a very frequent thing for me, but. Um, yeah, no, like, Canadian Netflix is better than American Netflix, just hands down. You know, it used to be the other way around, but no. Nowadays, no. American Netflix is, like, it's empty. There's nothing on it. Canadian Netflix, I don't know what the, like, the licensing stuff is all about, but, uh, it's just, it's just a lot better on Canadian Netflix. So if you're, if you're using a VPN or something like that to watch, uh, Netflix, seriously, go to Canadian Netflix. It's better. It is. I don't know why uh, why there's all this hype around American Netflix, because I turned my VPN off for Netflix. I, I like, genuinely, I do. Um, I turn it off so that I'm in Canada. Because um, I don't want it to be telling them that I'm not in Canada, because then I'm going to get American Netflix. And they're like, oh, wow, this sucks. So, <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. Usually when I'm watching Netflix anyway, I'll, I'll be on my uh, on my phone. Uh, which doesn't have a VPN, or on my, I only use the VPN on my computer so that I can get, uh, like, torrents and stuff like that without getting uh, messages from my ISP being like, uh, we've noticed, uh, you know, or uh, no, it, the, the email typically goes like, um, such and such has noticed that uh, there's been some suspicious activity, uh, please respond to this email, and then you just, you just don't respond. But it's annoying to get the emails, right? Even if they don't do anything, they are annoying. What are we here, boys and girls? So I, uh, I have the, uh, the, the VPN to, to get rid of those. And, uh, you know, people get on you about pirating all the time. You know, they'll be like, you gotta support the artists and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you know, to a certain extent, yes. You're not wrong. Like, but I'm fairly certain that I, I put more money out towards these, uh, these artists and you know, the people who are making content than, than most people do, and I, I, I feel pretty okay with that. You know, when I when I pirate something, the alternative isn't that I buy it. The alternative is that I don't watch it, you know? So, to me, I'm just like, I don't know. Like, just... I'm just gonna watch it, dude. Especially when it comes to manga. That's one where, like, I really just... Get really annoyed when people like talk about the morals of um of uh, of pirating manga. Cause I'm like, you know, you're right. You know, like you're allowed to take the moral high ground on that one, yes. But like, I don't have the money to buy that much manga. I just don't. It's like it's like ten dollars a volume, and I, I I can go through like multiple of those a day. You know, like like. It's, it's madness how expensive they are. And I buy a lot of them, but I can't buy every single one that I read. And then, like, some of them don't even have official English translations, so what do you want me to do anyway? Um. But anyway, I'm watching Death Note, so I'm gonna go back to doing that after we uh, finish this up. It's, uh, it's a good... It's a good show. It's on Netflix, Canadian Netflix, not American Netflix. You won't find it on American Netflix. You will find it on Canadian Netflix. Just another reason why Canadian Netflix is better than American. And, uh, yeah. That's what I'm going to go do for the uh, the rest of the night, really. Just remark about how much better Canadian Netflix is. It's, it's a point of pride for me as a Canadian. It's a point of pride. 
It's one of a few points of pride that we get. We get um, we get better Netflix. We get bigger country. And we get a government that at least somewhat cares about us. And uh, that's 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 about it. It's about where our benefits stop. Less guns. Some some might argue that's a negative. But uh, you know, for me for me personally I, I view it as a positive. Where Hello? Dang, bro. You forever away. The heck is Dang, bro. That him? Holy heck. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Yeah, whatever, just hit me. I don't care, man. Okay, we'll go ahead and pop this. So that we can destroy. I gotta use this more often when we uh, fight these bosses. Because it does make, like, a huge difference. Just look at how chunky this these, these hits are. Like, just chunking it away. Incredible damage, really. It's one of my favorite maps to play on just because it's when I remember to, to actually do it. Which is not often. But when I remember to do it for the boss fight, it just it feels so good just having all that extra damage and movement speed and everything. Like, you take a bit of damage, you know, getting the buff, and then you just... You go to town and just destroy him, and it feels it feels good, man. It feels good. I like it. It's a fun it's a fun mechanic. I wish more maps would do stuff like this, really, because it's fun. Anyway, that's gonna do it. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.